the battleground called America sees one skirmish after another. But who is fighting for faith, family, and flag? Charles Benninghoff, and here he is with today's action plan to defeat the forces of globalism. The background image today is the Federal Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals Courthouse, located in San Francisco. This court has been out of touch with the United States for years and years, and it's time to break up this court into more manageable sections. Indeed, it is so out of touch with Americans in general that it's a laughing stock of the nation. Most of the states that are in the Ninth Circuit's jurisdiction actually support breaking up this circuit, and Republicans have talked about breaking it up for decades. But now, it's time to act. Earlier this year, the circuit justices blocked President Trump's temporary pause on immigration from the worst terrorism spawning hotbeds in the world. The court ruled that the executive branch no longer has any authority over our nation's immigration policies. That is, so long as that president is a Republican. <laughs> the Ninth Circuit has also ruled that war memorials that have stood for decades are suddenly unconstitutional, and has even decided that the Second Amendment is null and void because during the later Middle Ages, the King of England banned carrying swords in public. Say what? Yes, the King of England is now more important than our Constitution. I'll talk about these insane rulings a bit later on. Fortunately, there's a bill in Congress right now to break this court up. The bill is 1598, known as the Ninth Circuit Court Modernization Act, which was sponsored by Congressman Louis Gohmert, a Republican and a former judge from Texas. So today, I'll be talking about the many reasons why we should break up the Ninth Circuit. I'll also let you know how H.R. 1598 would work in practice. And then I'll tell you how you can speak out and give orders to Congress to pass this legislation and break up that old nasty Ninth Circuit. Why do we speak out to Congress? I'm constantly asked that question. Just why do we do it? Well, the answer is because it is the best means to preserve faith, family, and flag in America. If Americans don't speak out, don't be surprised when career politicians do the wrong thing for the United States. Since we're talking about the courts today, here's a perfect example. Barack Obama nominated an anti-Second Amendment zealot named Merrick Garland to fill a vacant Supreme Court seat last year. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell was ready to push that nomination through for Obama. But when the Senate heard the backlash from our network of patriot activists, the GOP found its spine and stood its ground, refusing to hold confirmation hearings for Garland. And today... Today, we can all breathe a sigh of relief because Justice Neil Gorsuch is the newest member of the Supreme Court, and he is a strong supporter for the Second Amendment. We speak out. We make history. We hold the line against the forces of globalism that are trying to destroy America. If you want to become your own action hero, join with us. So, if you want to be part of this movement to make America great again, Click the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'll appear in your lower left corner. You can also sign up for my newsletters. Here's how you do that. If you mouse over the video screen on your PC or laptop, or tap the screen on your mobile device, you'll see an eye, and I will appear in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. It should be appearing right now. Just take a look up in that corner. I call this the YouTube eye. If you click on the YouTube eye, a link will pop out that will take you to my website, to our action campaign, where you can sign up for our daily newsletters. Even if you're not a big fan of President Trump, there are still many, many good reasons to break this court up. The Ninth Circuit tilts so far to the left that the Supreme Court has to reverse up to 80% of its decisions every year, according to National Review. Some of the Ninth Circuit's rulings are so bad that even Obama's Supreme Court justices, so, uh, Sonia Sotomayor and Elena Kagan, rule against them. The Circuit Court has 29 judges that represent California, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Alaska, Arizona, Nevada, Hawaii, and Guam. 
In 2015, the court had almost 12,000, 12,000 appeals filed. Plus, there were already almost 14,000 additional federal appeals that were pending. As a, out of a total of 38,000 federal appeals, including those in further along in the appeal process, the 29 justices of the Ninth Circuit were able to issue 146 decisions. 146! That's on the average of five decisions a year for each justice on the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. These guys are being paid $300,000 a year. And they can only make five decisions each? That's ludicrous. And it's a good reason all on its own to break up the court into smaller jurisdictions. There are far too many cases for 29 judges to handle, especially when the justices we now have can only handle five cases a year. Isn't that idiotic? But a better reason to break up the courts is because the judges are completely out of touch with America. They're living up there in a land of fruits and nuts, San Francisco. Ah, they're so far out of touch, they don't even know where it begins. They don't even know where the Constitution is. I think a lot of them have never even read the Constitution. Let's chuck out a couple of recent examples to show you why. You'll probably recognize the image now showing of the Mount Soledad National Veterans Memorial in San Diego County. It has a 29-foot high cross. It was spread across the newspapers and on the media all year long a couple years ago. We have to have seen it. That monument was built in the 1950s to honor the American heroes who died in the Korean War. The Ninth Circuit said in 2011 that the monument had to be torn down because, and I quote, it's distinctly Christian. Close quote. What do you mean? A cross is distinctly Christian? Ha <laughs> ha, that's so observant of those buddies. Fortunately, the Department of Defense sold the land that the monument sits on to a private Mount Soledad Memorial Association, so the judges on the Ninth Circuit were unable to tear it down. In June of 2016, in the case of Peruta, versus San Diego, a Ninth Circuit panel ruled seven to four that the Second Amendment does not allow Americans to carry a concealed weapon. Well, how did they come up to this decision? The court cited a law from the King of England in the year 1299 that banned men from carrying swords in public. Way before our Constitution was written and given a Second Amendment allowing us to keep and bear arms. But that's more important for those uh, nuts up there in San Francisco than our Constitution is. As I said, I don't even think they've read the Constitution. The Ninth Circuit is so insane that it will search through laws from foreign countries from 700 years ago in order to try to establish a precedent against your God-given rights to defend yourself, fully supported by our Second Amendment. So these California-based justices ignore our American Constitution and find support from a 700-year-old dictator king's decision instead. The land of fruits and nuts, as I said. To use newer English terms, these justices are a bunch of wankers gone bollocks. And of course, as we all know, the Ninth Circuit blocked President Trump's protection order earlier this year that would have temporarily blocked terrorists from entering the country posing as tourists or refugees subject to their vetting. Everybody coming in the United States as an immigrant should be vetted. It's written right in the law, but oh no, not for the Ninth Circuit justices. Congressman Jason Chaffetz, Republican from Utah, supports the idea of splitting up the Ninth Circuit. Here's a response of Representative Chaffetz ripping into the Ninth Circuit in a hearing that took place in March. Take a look. As a member of Congress, I gotta tell you, the rulings that we've had coming out against President Trump to protect our borders and secure this nation, while none of you on this panel made that decision, I, is infuriating to us to look to the Ninth Circuit to see people say, well, there's you know, 70 people here that we gotta protect and 80 people here. What about protecting the United States of America? So as you can see, some momentum is starting to grow for breaking up the Ninth Circuit, which is why we need to speak out now and get the ball really rolling. Here's how a Congressman Louis Gohmert's H.R. 1598 would work. The Ninth Circuit would be split up into two groups. The Ninth Circuit itself would stay in California, but its only jurisdiction would be 
California. Let all those fruits and nuts stay where they belong. The rest of the states and the territory would be forwarded to a newly created 12th Circuit Court of Appeals so that the citizens of the other states are not held hostage by a group of globalist judges in San Francisco. If you're in Alaska or Montana or Arizona, there's a good chance that your federal appeal will never be heard because there are literally tens of thousands of California cases lined up ahead of you. And with the production of five decisions a year per judge, they'll never get to you. So this plan lightens the caseload for the judges in the new 12th Circuit. It lightens them considerably so that the folks in the other states can have their cases heard. California will still be a mess. It will always be a mess until we get more conservative justices appointed to the court by President Trump and hopefully soon. But at least this plan would give great relief to all the other states. Here's how you can help. Go to our action page today and then use our intelligent GEMS system to send personalized letters to Congress telling them to get off their duff and pass this bill. Congressman Gobert's bill to break up the Ninth Circuit is in the House Judiciary Committee right now. So that's where our system will allow you to target your message. Tell the committee to pass this bill and break up the Ninth Circuit. Better for America, better for those states. Please do it now. Bob Mallory will give you instructions on the next screen describing how to our, get to our action page and once you get there, what to do. This is Charles Benninghoff signing off and wishing you freedom, fulfillment, and God's many blessings. If you're on our action page on our website, use the form next to the video screen to select a program and send personal letters to Congress. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, click the icon appearing now to find the link to our action page or check the video's description to find the link. Speak out today.